no, no. What I mean is you do a 360 around the piano. <laughs> you're also looking all through this scene. You're communicating with Mike. True. It was it was a, it was a lot to juggle that day. I mean, I guess I was just coming back from my college touring, and I was kind of off a little bit when I was on in orchestra. And he's like, Kevin, you gotta get back on focus. <laughs> You know, you kind of go, um, chitum, um, chitum, chitum, and then you get in. <laughs> you gotta, <laughs> you gotta get your unjatunjis together, okay? Let's try that again. One, two, three, four. I was always interested in writing for sports. Two other guys and I are the three sports editors maybe, for the yeah, Philippian. I also like, maybe you could do, add some JV sports. We are right now in the Philippian room. This is the whole newsroom. Um, all the editors of the sections work in here. We have our writers email us the articles. What happened to the uh, player of the week? Like, like, that, we're going to do like a player of the week. Oh, player of the week or play of the week? No, player of the week. Where We've got 14 sports going on and all the articles are on Wednesday night. And the deadline is 8 o'clock. You just ask each writer for each sport to say like, okay, what was the defining moment of this yeah, game? And, and then, then you guys like compare them. I feel a lot of pride. And not only just the sports page, but also the other sections too. No, do play of the week. No, we're doing play of the week. Nobody so we can know. Listen, listen, listen. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, kind of in the right in there. Let's go back to um, his mama, buddy, where you stand. Being a prefect is one of the more rewarding experiences that I've ever like been able to be involved with. We get the dorm together sometimes, just random talks. The kids come to talk, you know, stuff like. You know, he's eating my Tostitos. There was a deal that involved like, trying to decide who would get pizza. It looks as if Tom and Ben are just gonna, kind of like playing around. Suddenly, his face turns bright red. <laughs> it's kind of a responsibility. We're charged, basically, with not messing these kids up. Community service is something that every student at Andover finds a way to participate in somehow. Good morning. This fourth year Spanish program that we're doing now, it's based on seeing the other perspective of immigrants to kind of give students a real world interaction with the language. So what do you have for stream today? I'm going into Lawrence. There's like a whole bunch of senior citizens that live there. Today we're doing like show and tell about hometowns and family and stuff. <laughs> Yeah, potential, energy. And do we know what his age is when he actually gets back to Africa? I want to be a doctor when I'm older. That's what I want to focus on in college, somewhere in the field of genetics. I decided to go into Biology 600, which is a molecular biology course. We learn DNA lab techniques, to just like things like cloning, you know, PCR cloning and things like that, and then we kind of pick our own independent project. What my project consisted of was basically um, kind of like genome manipulation in fruit flies. I believe that there's a lot of future in gene therapy. One day maybe we can um, inject genes into human embryos and cure diseases. We got an English class. We are reading Hamlet right now. And think about the play in a completely different fashion. Hamlet himself, the character, looks and searches for his identity and trying to find so what I want to who he really is and why he's on Earth um, and what he's supposed to do. So why, is it, why do you have to read it? Well, I haven't read a lot of, like, that much of Shakespeare, but this play has a lot of soliloquies and, like, monologues mm -hmm. that give us, like, insight into the personal characters. And, uh, you know, it's hard to pinpoint whether it's kind of pagan or Christian. I mean, like, the reincarnation with the ghost. Well, it deals a lot with identity and finding the reason for, well, like, the purpose of life. And, um, and Hamlet tries to find um, his own identity. Like that 
Nine-eighths. Okay, guys, have you uh, exchanged homework? Control comes first and then artistry second. And I gave you a chance to be a little bit more artistic. You were dealing with a, a lot of variables there. There's just so many emotions, so many feelings. I mean, yeah, I'm already into college, so I'm thinking, we worked so hard for three years, and you know, I really don't want to work. And I had Mr. Warsaw's class. I, well, you can't be lazy here. He's demanding. He is very demanding. Okay, just to frame the discussion today, read the second movement of the Shostakovich Piano Trio. Uh, Shostakovich is a, he's a very, very tough composer to really read. I hadn't really practiced my cello in a couple of days, so the cello felt a little bit foreign to me, plus reading a new piece of music that I haven't okay. looked at before. Now, you guys, uh, you guys want us to count, or do you want to try it without? Oh, I don't know. And I'm I thinking know. to myself, this is Andover, you know? You've got it. You have a lot of work, but this is what prepares you for life beyond, so I just got straight back into it. <laughs> There's, you know, not very many Spanish speakers. Once I got to Andover, there's all these opportunities that opened up. I got involved in the Spanish 400 class because this was another opportunity to meet people from a Spanish-speaking background and improve my Spanish and interact in the real world. My partner, Nelly, has so much fun learning about our life and laughing at our attempts to speak to her in Spanish. Oh, que bonito! ¿Usted sabe cómo se llama? Ella? Incredible. Incredible! Alaska! And they also oh, tell us about their experience as an immigrant to the United States. No. Consíguele una. Yeah. Preséntale a tu amiga. Uh, yo, yo, I, well, I think the coolest thing is just going there and realizing how welcoming they are. You know, a lot of this class is talking about frontiers and boundaries and, you know, geographic frontiers, cultural frontiers. You know, generational frontiers, you know, you don't really associate with, you know, 60-year-old people a lot when you're 18. So going there and breaking those all down and realizing that you can become such great friends in the matter of 60 minutes or something. Muchas gracias. Oh, necesito correr. It was fun. It was so much fun. I love our people. What part? I love my friends here. <laughs> I spend so much time with them, like every day I eat lunch with them. It was so frustrating. I did already. It's a lot. Firefly. This one wasn't a dollar, this one was two dollars. <laughs> I'm one of the bookie heads here at Phillips Academy, and we're basically the school spirit leaders on campus. We're a group of 10 students. We are basically responsible for cheering at every single um, sports games and varsity games. The first day I drove into school, it was the Blue Head standing in the corner of Main Street and Salem Street with signs screaming and just they were so excited to be at school and kind of erase all my fears and my homesickness that I was feeling at the time. We do a thing called Kissing Elves. We sell kisses for 25 cents a piece. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> We've all grown very close, all 10 bookie heads. You know, they're basically my family away from home. Tonight, we're meeting at 5. And um, during that meeting, we basically pass on the leadership role of bookie heads to, to the new people. I guess it's time for the new bookie heads to take over, and so it's going to be really bittersweet for us. What I love the most, definitely the athletic. <laughs> I mean, that's my passion anyway. And a boy. Nice job, William. Go. Last year, the Andover football team was um, phenomenal. We had amazing players. We were really um, playing well, and our starting quarterback got hurt, and it could have hurt our season. Coach Mo is always amazing. 
his speeches are legendary. We always talk about family. Well, now we really have all of our families here, or many of them. Band of brothers. That's what you guys have become, a band of brothers. So every time you're out there playing, you look at him, you look at him, and you do it for your brother. You do it for your brother, and you do it for your brother all day long. Let's go, Blue. Here we go, Blue! I started that game. Uh, I threw my first touchdown pass, so that was awesome. And we won 34 0. And next year, we're going to have a just as good, if not better, season. helps us through the week. <laughs> it really does, through the rough week. Because my Wednesday, we're basically really tired from all the work. Wednesdays are made really good by ice cream, by bookie head meetings. <laughs> Each and every single one of the bookie heads do have genuine school spirit. It, it's so important because the spirit is what keeps you going when it's raining and when it's 30 degrees and windy. Spirit um, basically encompasses just everything. Pride, pride to say, you know, I go to Andover. We love you. You have to stick together. Remember, your job is to keep the audience going, keep the audience, you know, cheering no matter what. Just yeah, go, yeah, all yeah. Out. go all out. No. Oh, I always like cheered like one more time than everyone else. <laughs> Come here. Good luck. 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 